Hey guys, welcome back to another P3D video. We are in the FS Labs A320, and no, this is not EasyJet, and no, we're not in Europe. We are in India, and uh, we're currently sat on the Granite Cochin International Airport. Uh, the scenery's got a bit of uh, mishap going on it on the runway. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll talk about this jetway. It's a very special jetway. Uh, I'll talk about it very soon. Uh, so currently in the catering on board, and if I go inside the uh, external controls page, these ground connections are they grayed out. Um, so that's grayed out, as you can see. And I and now here comes the jetway. This jetway is is not with the uh, with the scenery, as you can tell. It's it's quite off. I can change it as this is GSX level 2's jetway. Um, these are sewed, yes, and they connect up to the door, yes. Um, uh, this is the so so GSX now implements so jetways, uh, which are customizable. So you can change the numbers up there. Uh, this change the jetway itself, I believe, and change the height, I think, as well, and uh, which is kind of cool. Um, so getting the catering on board, and I think well, as soon as we get the passengers about to get onto the aircraft, um, we should be able to maybe when the jetway is connected up, maybe it will allow ground power by then. No idea. Uh, if not, then oh dear. Because uh, yeah, we're just it's grayed out for me. So I'm just waiting, waiting to finish, and then waiting f to get the boarding started. And then once that's happened, it should be good. Um, so yeah, what, what I would still like from GSX is we have a jetway. Please get rid of those stairs. <laughs> There's literally no need for them. Right, catering's now finished. Just going to close the doors by... Uh, by uh, uh, just going to close the doors. Uh, as you can tell from the title, we're flying off to uh, VOBL, or Vobble, or whatever you want to call it, uh, which is actually Kemper Godoa International. Uh, I believe that's the airport name in Bang Bangalore. Uh, Bang Bangladore is how you say it, I believe. Bangladore. Uh, I may have said that totally wrong. Um, bang, yeah, it's Bang Alor or Bang Galor. Not not sure if you pronounce the G twice in that in the word, even though it's one G. But yeah, who cares? Right. Um, so IQOs is V O C I or Victor Oscar Charlie India, and we're flying off to V O B L, which is Victor Oscar Bravo Lima. Uh, right now, catering's finished. We'll soon get a notification saying boarding is about to get started. We have requested it. Um, so we're going to wait for those catering vehicles to go. And hopefully, things go to plan. It should do it by now. It says catering vehicles are in p p position. There we go. Right, default, confirm. And oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that coming out, but there's a little beeping going on there as it moves. That's awesome. So if I go in here, no, we'll wait until it actually gets here. <laughs> There you go, open that door. As soon as it stopped moving, we should be able to connect to ground power. Haven't tested this, but I think it's this little bit here, as you can see. This is where the aircraft connects connect up to the uh, ground power here. Battery charger active. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. That is a really neat feature and uh, very realistic, which I think is just amazing. No lags back there, all the displays coming on. Uh, right, all the navs <laughs> come alive. Thank you. And uh, yeah, fueling's done. Well, not fueling, but I've done that. I've set that up. Um, so yes. Uh, from and to, so we're flying, like I said, I just described it. Uh, V-O-C-I to V-O-B-L. And we do have a company route, which maybe it will find out. Yes, cool. Um, that's weird. It's not actually, that's not how it's spelt in the in the flight plan. That's weird. Uh, flying is Indigo uh, I G O. Is that a call sign just Indigo? They call it I. They call it I fly. So we're I fly um, uh, three six nine. Uh, Cost index I don't know twenty like default. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try and get up to three one zero today. We'll try. Uh, block fuel will be three point. Three, zero, few, eight. We get that punched in. Seems all the passengers and baggage have loaded on. So yeah, not sure if we still got the weird passengers walking through 
uh, for the ja uh, the shadows on the floor. But I think it may be, f I think it may be like not an issue with when you get these jetways out, which is true, which is good. I'm not sure where all these lag spikes are coming from. I'm not sure if it's just passengers loading. It may be just passengers loading. As soon as, <laughs> as, soon as the passengers finish uh, loading on, hopefully we don't get all those stutters. Um, so yeah, if I look away, I still get that stuttering. Uh, so yeah, uh, we've got some baggage coming around now. We're going to watch it come over here as uh, I clean my screen because I found a little speck of weirdness on it. Um, so yeah, baggage loading on. So yeah, so uh, like all the time, the, the procedures between, uh, I don't know what to say, what's it called? So when you have power, when the, when the aircraft set up, it's very realistic. The pilots start to set up pretty much most of the, the main part of the flight as soon as passengers' baggage get started. Uh, I've been on the, I'm almost finished <laughs> as soon as passengers about to load on sometimes. Uh, which is quite very, very unrealistic. Um, so now it's being a bit more realistic. So actually, gonna have to wait three minutes to Iris is line. It's not too bad. Uh, actually, it's not too bad actually. Uh, we do have power. Uh, I rushed everything, so not the taxi light. Whoopsies, that's a close one. <laughs> now the light can come on. Turn up the brightness. Up this MCDU. Get the flight plan. Turn up the brightness on this side. Lovely. Uh, this flight should only take about 40 minutes. Um, it's not too long of a flight. Get the fuel pumps active. They're not going to be. They're not on. Uh, they're just available to becoming on. Um, it's not being used right now. Uh, so yeah. Chief is primary lost indeed. Uh, no. That was weird. So I just wanted to get to Tiga. Uh, ah. There, me. Let me go and fix that little problem then. Right, welcome back. I uh, just fixed that. For some reason, all my controls have reset. Uh, so I had to fix that. I did forget about the last little bit with the throttle there. And when I click page up and page down, it moved the throttle. If I leave left, left and right, as you can see, um, oh. <laughs> it moved the uh, yoke then. It's going to center that all up again. <laughs> uh, that's probably why the rudder was moving. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure if that was it. Uh, so let's quickly reset everything there. Uh, let's go to external controls there. Um, so passengers are almost boarded, uh, which is awesome. Uh, no smoking and seatbelt signs can come on. Uh, so make sure the passengers sit down. And these jetways that come with, F F uh, with the these jetways that come with this is very high quality. Look at thing about the so jetways. I mean these jetways, like if you sit with the captain's view, uh, they don't actually clip out, which is awesome, and I'm loving that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I may just do one day with a uh, with a stream of just editing <laughs> all of these. Um, so yeah, all right. Boarding is now complete with the passengers there. So we get to payload. Uh, that did not do anything. So we are just going to reset that to fifty eight point seven, like so. And if I get these, uh, it's twenty six point. Gives us 0 0.4 up. Um, cool. So departing out of 27 today on the uh, what is this? The Combator, Combator, uh, Charlie Charlie Bravo One Alpha departure. Um, so yeah, that is us. GPS primary, lovely. Uh, APU, we can go and get that started up now. Baggage is all finished. Awesome. Um, Perf page. Where do the flaps come open? And we'll get GSX ready for our pushback. Right, just waiting. There we go. AP can now start up. Beacon light can now come on. Uh, park brake is set. So what I'll do, I'll just get that on that page there. Uh, is that door still open? It is. Close that door. And that goes away. Awesome. Uh, that is not so awesome. I've just realized what I've just done. <laughs> oh, okay, I need to watch out for that. I don't know if you guys just realized what I've just done. Because uh, there's ground power of the jetway, I just closed that door. Because GSX wanted me to. And I lost, I lost all the power. I'm just waiting for AP to start up now. Ah, uh, whoopsies. See? 
is the AP going to start up? That's our question. Yes, I think it is. It has. Okay, we've been saved by the APU. However, is everything still here? Lovely, it all is. <laughs> okay, right. I need to watch out for that. Um, 67 on the flex temp. Flaps 1. Oh, I forgot to put packs on. There we go. Um, 60, 61 now. Okay. Uh, 1 up of 0.4. And V speeds are 150. 150, there we go. 150 and 152. Awesome. Okay. Let's get all that manic out of the way. That was crazy. Whoopsies. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Hopefully, GSX will be happy with us now. Just gonna wait for that to do its stuff. Whoopsie-doo, whoopsies. Whoopsie-doo. That's not a word. Um, Locking gear. Any uh, initial climbs? Yeah, uh, 4,000 is that? No. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really say. Uh, climb, heading. Bloody blah 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 blah. Uh, until passing, we'll just we'll just set four thousand, and if we if we're clear, I know we're we're offline, so it's all right. Okay, our rest is all good. We set up the whole flight plan. Make sure that is set up there. Uh, we're good. We're good. Terrain. I think we're good to push. Cool. Pushing. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. All right. We got the PA on. And ignition start. Number two. Lovely. Uh, do we just turn off the center tank pump? Just like that? Does it just want us to do that? I guess so. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm happy with that then. Okay. Turn it up a bit. So yeah, I did say at the start of the video, there's something wrong with the runway, and you'll see what I mean <laughs> when we get there. <laughs> oh, timer. Right. Number one, number two, sorry, it's already started. Start number three. We watch that lovely engine getting started up there. Oh, hard to hear. Everything. Uh, why is Simlink being weird? It doesn't it's like Ladies and gentlemen, it's being weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to reset the aircraft position. A it's weird. Your seat pocket showing the exit routes, Stupid. oxygen masks, life jackets, and brace position that right. you must adopt if you hear brace. GSX brace. doing a lovely job with our push. There are two emergency That's a good thing. at the rear, four in the middle, and two at the front of the cabin. However, floor lighting will guide you to an exit. I, hope, I was hoping for it to push us all the way back to Bravo, but it maybe it'd be a bad idea. Uh, it's fine, we can just taxi up and around. Um, is fastened, adjusted, and it what? As shown. It must be fastened when the seatbelt signs are on. I'm going to quickly tweak takeoff. Length. Let's see if we take off nice and early. Yeah, let's see that. 56. 133 136 Now we have to do a full length adjust. take off Put on your own mask before Cool from under your seat. Put it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist. Yeah, not that yet. Click together. All right, Max and also break. To Unlocking gear. Do not inflate it inside. Yeah, I was hoping to skip around there. <laughs> right, flight controls. Full right, full left. All the way down, up, lovely, right and left on the rudders. Wonderful. Your tray table must now be stowed, armrest down, window blinds open, and seatbelt fastened. Let's quickly reset this. Lovely.
Uh, I don't know what. Wait, where's he gone? Left is clear. Right. I swear he was on the left there. Is he gone now? Oh, he's over there. He's randomly teleported. Right, left is clear. Right is clear. Taxi. Parking brake. Of course, it doesn't like that. I don't know why. It just says we're clear to go. So very weird. GSX. There's our gate. No, there was our gate. <laughs> Power! So, what I might do, I might just try and find, uh, maybe try and find like a little texture for something. Maybe just make it just for this airport. HSBC is very worldwide anyway, uh, so it kind of fits anything. Uh, but I don't know if there's HSBC on these jetways at this airport, so you can always customize it. Right, I'll take a left. Up here. And then a left again. As I made a stupid mistake thinking I'm going to take off on 09. Uh, so, my brain thinking like my normal brain. Um, so, yeah, there's a bit of a scenery problem. Uh, you, we, may be, we may be seeing it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, this texture is damn repeated a lot. Jesus. Uh, so, on the right there is Charlie 2. Um. Probably you'll take off there. You're taking off 09, it's a bit shorter there. Um, then coming up will be Charlie 3, uh, which is a fast exit if you're landing on 27, um, which is good. Uh, and then after that uh, is Charlie 4, and that is where we're hopefully going to take off from. Uh, I've calculated all the calculations. <laughs> well, I haven't. Takeoff performance has done that for me. Uh, good. Good, uh, good website. Uh, uh, top Cat, not Top Cat. Well, Top Cat can do it, uh, not very in depth. Uh, but this thing called WadPro.cz, I say it every video, it is a very good application, website, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you might have noticed my cold has got a bit better. <laughs> yes, it's got better, but it still hasn't gone. Uh, so, yeah. Is that a light house? That's not a lighthouse, what I'm going about. Some sort of similar design thing to light. Oh. It's like a massive beacon light. I'm not sure what that means. So, yeah, coming up is Charlie 4. Uh, because, actually, I just realized I've said it might be 2,000 meters. Maybe 17,000 meters long. Um, so, I'm a bit, a bit scared about this flex temp. So, I'm going to set it to 50. Um, just keep it nice and safe. Right. So takeoff config test is uh, normal. Can I please click that? There we go. Normal. Lovely. Take it right out to here. Hopefully the runway is all good. Um, if it isn't, then you'll know what I was talking about earlier, uh, which is quite annoying. So, uh, visibility is not too great. It's quite foggy. Uh, so, I'll just turn on the weather, and TCAS, I don't know where I am, oh, not too bad, didn't mess up that turn at all. Oh, that's shaking a lot in this view. Oh, that's loud. Oh, because it thinks we're not, we're <laughs> it thinks we're kind of taxing on the ground. Um... Well, we are, but not. He thinks we're taxiing on dirt and not tarmac. So that's, uh, that's very weird. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Uh, not sure why that is to do with the scenery itself and nothing else. Uh, so whoever made this actually didn't really realise that uh, that doesn't work. Um, if you're watching, what the hell's going on here? Um, yeah, I don't know if anyone else has got this airport. If you know a fix for this, yeah. Right, start the chrono. Get rid of that. Let's go. Let's go straight to flex. Bring those down slightly. Now we're definitely driving. Now we're definitely driving. Now we're definitely uh, on on the dirt there. Uh, SP's alive. One hundred knots. Those coming up to the central. 
V1 rotate. Yeah, the runway is going a bit weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> Was there it, Kira? And no, it is not Orbex. I have looked at Orbex, disabled everything to do with that. That has not fixed it at all, so. So, yeah. Well, I have fixed Orbex. That, I did fix some problem, but didn't fix everything. Right. A wonderful departure. What's the pilot on? And we'll clear ourselves up to cruise. 310. Optimal climb. Climb thrust. Let that acceleration happen. And transition altitude is 11,000. Uh, I may have put it in there. Uh, but hopefully it has. Flaps up. Lovely. So optimal climb, I'm just going to forget about all the altitude restrictions here. And we're going to make, it, make our way all the way up to 310, uh, which is great. It's 3,000 feet. Aircraft still accelerating, which is lovely. And we're still climbing at, climbing at a wonderful rate. And uh, there's the scenery down below. Uh, yes, it isn't very... It, it, it is very nice, but uh, can't really see the full potential of it as, uh, yeah, it's foggy and a bit of cloud. Hopefully, I say hopefully, uh, it gets a bit better. Um, a bit north of India, but we don't know. Right, spoilers disarmed. Turn us, news lights. Right. Oh, I don't know what that was. I just don't know what. Yeah, something just happened to my voice. I don't know what that was. Um, that if it came out on the on the microphone, it just heard if it, it, it felt felt heard heard weird in my ears. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the t departure out of this airport, uh, Cochin International. Um, I'll see you into the arrival into Bangladore. Bang Bangladore. I'm gonna say Bangladore. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the departure, I'll see you in the descent. Enjoy the cinematics of the A320, and not EasyJet, thank god, um, and I'll see you very soon. <laughs>
Hey guys, welcome back into the descent down into Bangladore. Oh uh, yes, visibility was good looking <laughs> up at the cruise. And now we're getting a bit further down. The visibility, as you can tell, probably just looking at that wing view for now. Uh, it's getting worse and worse, which is not nice. Uh, currently passing 135 at a speed of 210 knots. And uh, so, uh, uh, see, so yeah. got back speed of 210 actually. Do need to bring out some speed brakes to get back on that VNF as well. Uh, so we get that out. Go to the perf page, approach, uh, QH, and everything to do with that. 0014. Uh, temperature 23 degrees. And it is 0 at 2. Lovely. Uh, decision height uh, is. Ooh, hello. <laughs> uh, 203. Uh, actually, to make it interesting, let's put the MDA in, uh, which is 2120. Why is the autopilot just kicked out? No idea why I just did that. That's weird. Sometimes when I'm clicking about, I don't know why in the cruise it did come out a bit. It did, autopilot did came, come out. Sometimes in the cruise, I'm not sure why. Uh, so, so I, was just, uh, I was just clicking about doing this stuff. As you, can you can probably tell actually. Um, going down to the FM's, uh, well, MCDU is a bit faster. Uh, I've just changed that up to be a bit faster. So if I really need to quickly do something down there, I can quickly click that. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I'm flicking everywhere. Uh, let me just get down onto that VNAV profile. So we've got full, yeah. <laughs> can set flats one, but I don't want to do it just at this altitude. Seat belts are now on. That's all good. Well, they're already on. Uh, so, RS27 Zulu. So, yeah, MD is red, nice and high. And pretty much uh, 3,000 feet on our landing altitude, uh, which is a great, crazy. Uh, we may need to bring out some, yeah, we're going to bring out flaps one just to help us with our deceleration here. That's a lot better. Lovely. Cool. So we're going to make it to the next waypoint here at 7,000 feet. Uh, and then we're going to turn left and get onto the RS uh, for 5,500, which I'll set in here. 7,000 is the, uh, what do you call it? Translation altitude. So yeah. I'm going to put optimal descent and a speed of 210. And if, if we reach 5,500 feet, flats one, full speed rate before the waypoint, I'll just go direct to the RS. Um, so yeah. Nice and simple. Right, that's 10,000. So, lights. Lovely. It looks like I'm going to reach 5,500. If we went on the LNAV, we'll reach 5,500 there. Uh, which is kind of cool. So we should be able to just... I'll probably spin it left as we... I think it's fine there. I think we'll just be staying on that. Uh, we've got the landing system line, as you just saw me click on quite a moment ago. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to be landing... Ooh, I'd actually have parking stands, airport. Thank you. 4,000 4, meters. Low water break. Uh, pretty, maybe not even any reverse. Maybe a little bit of reverse. We can probably bring it in about 100 knots instead of uh, our normal 80. Uh, so, yeah, speed break is still out. I know. Don't worry, aircraft. Uh, probably bring this down to 200 knots now. Uh, the aircraft is light as hell, um, as you can tell. Uh, so we make it, it's a bit tricky going down. It's a bit tricky, uh, but it should be good. I've actually crossed the glide slope there. Um, so what I might do? We're going to heading mode. Uh, not yet. Let's keep it like this for now. As soon as we pass that glide slope. I'm going to swing the aircraft left and bring it down to 180. Um, direct you. So, yeah. Down to 180. Uh, so, yeah, cool. Lovely. Bending, bending the rules. Bending the rules. Uh, email. Go away. Right. Oh, there's the ground. I actually see it now. That's awesome. I thought the speed brakes out. Look. They're not out. 
Wait, that's weird. Okay. Okay, they're in. Unless they're not out for the turn. That is possible. No, that was weird. <laughs> okay, we don't need them anymore. But, uh, yeah, that was very weird. Uh, so, Kunich1014. Yeah, no. Oh, look at that. Lovely ground. Awesome down there. Amazing. So, I'm just going to be holding it 180. She might do direct to you as uh, that's exactly where the RS starts. So, that can come onto that mode now. And yeah, Cabin Group be seated for takeoff. Lovely. Uh, it wants us to decelerate at that point, is that right? Yeah, it wants us to decelerate. Maybe I keep it 180 or 6 DME, uh, like every time. Um, so yeah, keep a flat swan uh, for now. Here we get a bit of uh, engines coming in now. And we're 5 nautical miles out uh, until the localizer. Um, not too far away now. And the airport was somewhere over, somewhere over there. <laughs> somewhere in that area is an airport. Well, actually, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> it's there. Uh, I just numbered in the cruise as I was just being me, th thinking. For some unknown reason, I was thinking. Um, I just numbered there was a there's a weird bug at this airport. I think it was this airport. I may be wrong. But uh, there was, with the jetways... When it's meant to be one, there's two, and one of them's a static, and one of them's dynamic. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens when we get down there. Maybe it might have fixed itself or not. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe it's fixed itself when I did a re clean and clean installation. Twenty-five hundred. Uh, for PCD version four point three. There's the glide state coming in now. Um, to keep an eye on that. Made a good heading mode and just trying to intercept that localizer on a 300 heading. Uh, just a bit of chance there because I don't want the glide slate coming in before the, uh, the localizer. Not a good idea. What's that flaps to now? I really need that localizer coming in. There it is. Lovely. And now we should get the glide slate very soon as well. There it is. Lovely. So we're now 10 miles out of the airport. It's quite a high altitude. Uh, I can keep it flat full. Or full, I should say. That's full. Uh, I'm going to improve that approach speed. We are, as a, as a high altitude airport, so. Um, 139 will do for me. Uh, that's active as well. Lovely. Yeah, this uh, visibility is. It's weird. <laughs> it's uh, varying quite a lot. So yeah. According to Active Sky, we should be able to see the airport, but uh, that's a lie. Actually, no, no, no. We shouldn't be able to see the airport. We should see it in two miles. Right. I'm going to bring gear down. Get to the approach speed. Should be 139. The nose will come up, I believe. Uh, if the gear doesn't, yeah, that, there we go. That's a deceleration. I don't know why. Don't decelerate. Uh, flaps three. Don't be set because the flaps on the Airbus come down super fast. <laughs> uh, I still don't see the uh, the runway. I'm not sure if the runway lights are broken or not. Flaps full will be fine and goodbye autopilot. It should take off the autopilot, take out the autopilot until we see the runway lights, but uh, but hey ho. It's a flight sim. Uh, actually I do have the runway lights. Run I have the pappies in sight now and the runway lights. Lovely. One thousand. Bring that nose right down. Get back on that glide slope. Don't know what happened there. Well we bought our flaps full, we gave us those of uh, lift. So we just went above that glide step a bit. Um, now we're back on there. And the aircraft's at the speed. Our approach speed. Lovely. It looks like this is like a lightning strike on those landing lights there. Uh, that is weird as hell. 
yes, I have no idea why they're flashing like that. <laughs> they're meant to, to stay constantly on, but they decide to uh, have a little flash today. Thank you, lights. Thank you. Three hundred. Hundred above. Jesus, I'm high. Two hundred. Minimum. Continue. We are. I just made that recovery, which is lovely. Got that one red back. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Yeah, floater. Five. There we go. Out of reverse. Like I said, we may not even need it. So, yeah, I don't think we need it. 100 knots. Eighty knots. Because there's only this is the first uh, exit uh, for high speed exit, so it's fine. Right, landing lights, taxi, turtle, turtle there, strobes I'm in. And TCAS, flight time, 45 minutes, lovely. That's pretty much the same time as the real world flight. Uh, flaps can come all the way up, TCAS is off. Ladies and gentlemen, the cabin crew will shortly be leaving their seats to perform safety Flap related come off. duties. However, we ask that you remain seated until the fastened seatbelt sign has been switched off. Portable electronic devices lovely. for messaging calls or internet access may now be used. For some reason I believe there's no air traffic at this airport. Not sure why. We had it down at uh, Kotchin, but uh, here? No, no, no. Right. Uh, so the gate, the parking stand, I should say. Uh, oh, that's weird. Right. 16 or 15, somewhere around there. That will do. 15. So it's got so jetways. Um, but I think it's still got. Yeah, it's got static jetways with it as well. Um, which I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I need to fix that. Somehow. I will have to fix that. Not sure how yet, but I will. Right, we'll turn around and hold hotel. Sorry, uh, on the right here, the tax light is off. Don't know why, but uh, for some reason it is turned off. A people you can come on now. And uh, yeah, a lovely landing. What's that? Right, what was the landing right there? Minus one four five, hundred forty five feet per minute. Nice and smooth that was. As a, a very quick recovery there near the end. They put, pulled a bit too much G-forces on that, <laughs> pulling back on the stick there towards the end, but uh, hey-ho. Uh, took a left onto a certain choice of three taxiways. I'm just going to go to Lima 2, uh, bang in the middle. Because, why not? Probably, you would go for the inner, in the taxiway. Probably. Yeah. But hey ho, it's fine. Doesn't really matter. Because we can still see the, the where GSX is parked up. Or stationed at, we should say. Uh, which is fine. Um, turn offs don't need any more. It is uh, bright as hell. I'm not, I'm not, sure what, I'm not sure why I'm saying as hell with everything. <laughs> I don't know what a uh, high as hell, I think I said. On the approach, maybe not. High as hell, that does not sound good at all. Um, but yeah. <laughs> not sure why I'm saying that. Uh, so yeah, the weird jetway problem. So 15 is on our right now. Slow down the aircraft. Just a tad. I tried to do a tad, but uh, it, um, wow, it just did its thing with FS Labs. I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's. It's definitely sewed, as well, that's what GSX said, but I can't remember, maybe if it was um, a con control J uh, dynamic jetway or it just a static one that doesn't even work. 
Um, can't remember. We'll find out. If I can click and control J, then it, yeah. God. But if it's static, then I can pro probably like remove a Jetway file in the scenery folder, uh, which is what I might do if that is the problem. If I can fix it that way, then I'll do that. Uh, so yeah, parker brakes are set. APU is on. Engines can shut down. Beacon light, bye bye. Be uh, seat belts, bye bye. Request deboarding. boarding. Confirm. Lovely. So is it the same as the jetway here? No, because uh, this is a diff. This isn't so. Control J. Yeah, that's static. I'll see if I can get rid of that. Um. Yeah. This is weird. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed our flight today. Uh, that was very nice. Nice little landing right there. Uh, 145. Um, no, watch G4s. Just under 1 Gs. Uh, which is nice. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, if I ever fly to Bangalore again, hopefully I have this fixed. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you then. Enjoy uh, just having a lovely weekend as this video is coming out on Friday. I'm recording this on a Wednesday, so I just had to think just before I said that. Have a lovely weekend. Hopefully, when the video comes out, I'll be streaming at the same time. Uh, well, not the same time, but same day. Uh, definitely be streaming on the weekend. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the flight. I'll see you in the next one, and bye bye for now.